that last episode is drama. The whole like Duke saving us, Liz just being so stupid and naive, but I think it's intentional. I think there's something more than meets the eye. I think that she could straight up be an isekai character that took on the role of the heroine, the sage. I think there's something sus there. Duke? Yes, he's a... Uh, there's some sus pre-ordering behavior happening, but he did stand up for Then we woke up next to him in bed naked, and it was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. But remember, Alicia's the one that's grooming Duke, not the other way around. Other than that, uh, what's really important? Um, honestly, I can't really remember. I was just having too much fucking fun with the whole pop-off moment happening with like, you know, Duke, Liz, and Alicia. The divide, is it gonna get bigger? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, Alicia got like demoted from being like basically Liz's handler or something. And it's to dissuade her and to prevent her from going to class, to school, because she's too young. But if she gets to level 90 or something, right? She's on the grind right now. She basically locked herself in. She's just grinding, grinding, grinding. And if she hits like, a certain level, then you can go back to... Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Wait. This is Eminence in Shadow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> I clicked the wrong video. <laughs> ワガノ。シャドウ。影に潜み。あ、come That's like food for her. Yeah, mindset. My man's also been on the development grind. Yeah, potatoes and an egg. Yeah,ポテトスとアンエッグ。Fine meals like this, you're living in luxury. Bro, she has one broccoli, one thing of like, block of carrot, maybe a potato, I don't know what this is. This is luxury? Jill comes from, you know, yeah. The area is way worse. Okay, this is actually cool to see like Jill's side of the story and like, you know, the other servants of the house getting very compassionate for him. Appa mentioned. So that was bacon, this thing. Potatoes, bacon, egg. Okay. Sits this one out? We're being benched? Yeah, Jiru. Father. ま、方薬エイベルだ。エイ。消費を通って村へ帰るのに必要だ。そういう。こんなの渡さなくてもの屋敷なんだから。おう。違う違う。でも、ジェルズハスタルスファック。I guess he really thought that like so you do it for me, Joe. To be the best villainess ever. First friend. Yes. He's just a rich one. Oh, mother. Yo, the mom gives me villainous vibes, man. The mom definitely controls the father. Level 
わざと難題にしたのに。But、she'll do it. なぜかことさらやる気ね。She's about to surpass her limits. 達成しなかったら、監視役を認めないというだけで。なあ、we want to go in now. アリシアは達成しますよ。やると言ったら、やる人だ。アリシアは強いのに。ギャザーリズに関わらせたくない。な<笑>めにあった。なるつるう、シーズンセインは彼女と出会って変わってしまった。おお、エルプリッカーがデモーテッド、ブロー。You are not, he's simping way too hard, right? One of our two. So, uh, Henry Albert, and there's like a main brother too, right? Two twins, sorry, you know, a pair of twins and older brother. Older brother and pair of twins, they're pretty like. One of them twins, right? It's definitely, definitely like. All for Liz. And the weirdest shit was yeah, Alan or something. The、um, older bro, when he was tending to Alicia last episode, he was actually being so reasonable and on our side. And then the moment Liz started yapping and just gaslit us, he just something changed. There's gotta be some sort of like sage effect happening. Her words are somehow just deluding these people. <laughs> できれば続けてほしいのが本音だろう。リズ、あの女が国を救うって。女。国を救うというと、漠然ことは事実だね。おお。リズの言うぜ。魔法の力はあらゆる面で譲り上げ、国のために働いてもらうことになるだろう。Put to work for the kingdom. What does that mean? <laughs> Sounds like this is just gonna become a fucking soldier that the kingdom is gonna abuse. 生まれなる能力を持っている以上、国のために活用する。Not if you run away with Duke. Godai Kizok no Toshi to Ste. What I shall Mushiro Rio Surgawa no Ningenda, Mitta. Kimi a Kabet Surkana. Ye. I'll step up. Shiro Anata that you, Namano Rito Motemasio. True. Konokuni no Maho Shijo Shigi, Kuni no Tameni Shojo Sura Katio Surdanante Inagara. This kingdom is fraudulent, man. So no Arishawa. Hopefully, this is not a flag, but great to see Jill's development. Wait, what? I thought that this place had very arid land and you couldn't grow anything, but they got potatoes and shit, bro. They grow in food! What changed? I thought you couldn't grow. There was like advice given specifically for this type of land. She grinded agriculture, how to grow shit. In front of us? What the fuck? We're just like, yay! Happy, happy! I'm gonna think that. Yeah, well, you flexed it in front of me. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> oh. Who is this guy? I don't remember this guy. He must be the picture guy. Because remember, the portrait picture Duke's dad, dad, brother, uncle. There's some family bullshit going on. He must be the character from the portrait that we saw with Will Oji san by the side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be him. <laughs> Where was Nate all this time? True, we need a bodyguard, bro. Can you save us? Yeah, Nate, what are you up to? If it's Alicia, she'll do it. Wait, well, even if it's true or not, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. It's still a net positive at the end. Like, it's kind of weird when you go around filming homeless people and saying, Can you smile? I'm giving you a $5 bill. You need to say thank you, right? To some Mr. B shit of like, come on, smile. You have to smile and start crying for the reaction, okay? Third take. It's kind of twisted. It feels very dystopian, but at the end of the day, if someone benefits and you get some clout off of it, it's just like, eh. She's training. Hmm. Yeah, Alicia different. 
私はそれ農作のやり方を教えてくれたんだ施しだけなら食料を買って彼女が用意してくれたのだらのの Skills to survive on our own Self-sufficiency that was interesting. I don't know where Nate's been all this time, but he clearly is the person that we saw in the portrait. So it's looking like Nate got exiled along with Will. I wonder if Will, if Nate was also the same mindset as Will, going against, like, you know, the uh, status quo of nobility overall and everyone else sucks and Will was trying to kind of like uproot the established status quo and try to probably do something meritocracy but that got him like banned. Maybe there's more to the story but Nate, where does he play a part in that? Dio. <laughs> True, we need actual like results. Liz just yaps about, oh, world peace, solve world hunger, and then has no steps to do it. Then Alicia's like, all right, here's the game plan. This is what we're gonna do step by step, actionable items. And then everyone glazes Liz and says, oh my god, you're so perfect. The fuck? Duke. Roana Mura no Kaikaku. Yep. And people with talent are just dying off there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is the bro, but uh, Will? And Nate, I don't know. Un unless this is not the dad, Nate, I don't know. Nate's definitely royalty though, probably. Oh, also, there was a missing portrait, right? Missing portrait on the side. The subs are really fucked up that episode. And I choose to be confused even though someone answered it. Whatever. But I think that I'm still close enough. Nate's royal family. あにえ、少しお休みになった方がいいのではの質問量が多すぎるのを改善すべきかと地方の様々な行政までます。意思決定に時間がかかり国全体の発展が滞りようを認めるべきではないでしょうか。お前もそう思うか。お前もいいな。
Okay. Okay, uh, Duke hates Alicia is the rumor we're spreading. Nah, it's just like we're glazing our girl. Great, I would love to see that. Mr. Green. He's neutral, I think. Liz. Liz 100% spread it. Well, indirectly. I bet her lackeys did it, right? The glazers are spreading rumor. Dude, the gaslight is so powerful. A loose girl. He's a loose man. He's the one that unbuttoned his shirt and showed up in bed with us, bro. Alicia ain't loose. Duke is loose. Put your shirt back on. Wait, wait, what? What? I would have come up with an unshakable fate accompli. Uh, I feel like this is like some different language for alum by fate accompli. Meaning, it's a thing that has already happened or even decided before those affected hear about it, leaving them with no option to accept it. Interesting. Just, just a way to just like kind of declare your narrative before anyone else can say anything about it and you can't refute it. Yeah, that's right. Put the shirt back on. With the NPC glazers. Fuck your cake. Only cake that Duke wants is Alicia's cheek. How? Am I crazy? How are you guys saying all this shit? Dude, look at Duke's face. He's like, nah, he's just so sad. There's nothing telling me from his body language. Right? That this is like a happy couple. How are you saying this shit? <laughs> Insane delusions. <laughs> That's what I think about your cake. I spit on your cake. That's right. Yeah, you got me. You got me. You fucking cucks. Look how eager you are to just jump in when main man number one, you know, is that's not in the scene anymore. Bro, you're, what are you doing? You're helping her go after another dude? What are you, I mean, Freya, Damachi, that's the whole Freya family too, bro. They're all just cucked as they see their queen simp over another man. Liz, no, brother. Dude, I hate how they throw her, their own kin under the bus. Bro, how the fuck is this happening? Die, Onna! <laughs> yeah, Liz, if you believe it, you can get that man and don't care about us. We're so happy for you, Liz, even though we're not gonna get you. What the fuck are you so happy about? How are you so happy? about this? <laughs> Do they think they're gonna get some leftovers? Like, what are they thinking? They're not. They're all mind broken. I think they're all brainwashed. Something about Liz's aura is affecting them. <laughs> but the green guy is pretty uh, neutral. Boo, rumors are being spread again, man. Yeah, it must be. Look at this. You see how fast the misinformation and the assumptions turns into rumors that they just all adamantly believe and start spreading? This is crazy. You just start making shit up. <laughs> Yo. Oh? Even more pathetic. Like, at this point, the show is not even being discreet. If these girls hated Liz, but now they're glazing and making rumors on behalf of her, it just truly tells you that there's something else behind the scenes. And maybe it's not Liz. Maybe someone else is using their magic to make them glaze Liz. 
Maybe, but I truly believe at this point that Liz is intentionally doing this. Mm. Mm -mm. Unless with magic or something. The blonde guy and the green hair guy, all neutral. Huh? Hey, they're like us. He's just like us. He just wants the fucking content, bro. He's like, oh, bro. Alicia been grinding? Level 90? Half a year plus? Oh, shit. When she comes back. Mel. The hell? Who's Mel? Wow. Is this some fountain spirit? This girl. Pink hair girl. About Roanna. This is about Roanna, right? Look into Ruana for me. You know who. Who's not excited about this? I thought that Liz is very excited. Maybe this has to do with Nate. This has to do something with more family and the mysteries of the missing portrait and who Nate really could be and how it relates to the royal family with Will also getting exiled. Maybe someone different. She, Alicia. This is a very teasing girl. He wants to know what's happening with her poos, this pookie bear, bro. Half a year he hasn't seen her. How much has she grown? I Two years later? Oh shit, at that point, then we could have just gone to school because we were 13. 15 is the freshman age. I thought that the whole point of, you know, fucking doing the training session is so that we could literally go back to school immediately at the age of 13. But now we could have just waited two years without training and still got back in. But hey, it's fine. Two years can't skip. But here, I wish I were the only one who really knew you. So this does have to do with, you know, the pinker girl getting to snoop around and seeing what Liz's Alicia is about. Bro wants to keep Alicia locked up. In his room. Yep. Bonbon. Jill. Quick burst of sugar can be good to just get your brain thinking. Two years? Is she alive? Dude, this is the final year. We need to go in now. Me too. Like, I thought the whole point at the time, you know, the whole like time constraint of, you know, why we even did that was so that we could go back to school without waiting until we're 15, but now we're 15. Alright, she's about to get to the good shit. Level 100. Not level 90. Alicia is going beyond that level 90 is my headcanon. <laughs> Alicia. The arrival, the return. What does she look like now? Uh, yeah, she looks more older. She looks now, she now looks like that version of what we see in the openings, the fully matured. She's 15. She's not fully matured. But in the opening, that was the oldest version of Alicia I've seen. Wonder how uh Duke would feel about this. Is Duke gonna be happy? Or is Duke gonna be like too old? Like, you know how uh what's his name? What's that famous actor? Uh DiCaprio? Like the time the time that his new girlfriend turns 25, they get dumped. And then he picks a new one. 25 seems to be like the upper bound of what he finds acceptable for like a woman's like youth. That's what DiCaprio does. It's a pattern of behavior. Uh, <laughs> maybe 15 as a cat for Duke. Yo.
The beautiful villainess and the black rose. Yo, and that's another episode of Villainous. What happened today? I enjoyed the um, Jill's perspective on things. The fact that he thought that dad was like a shitty dad that was trying to kick him out. Nah, 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 nah. And Alicia was the one that wanted to hold herself up to, you know, accomplish that. But that's Jill. We saw the mom. The mom is pretty much a villainous herself. So it's looking like we see where Alicia gets the villainous charms from. Um, Nate guy, 100% related to the royal family. Obviously, it's, it's, it's the most obvious thing if you just even look at his hair color and trying to think of like, why would he be here with Will? If we understand the whole missing portrait and the pictures that we saw, clearly Nate is part of the royal family. And, you know, the king also talks about if only my brother were here. I don't think Nate's really old enough to be the king's brother though, right? What about Will? Will's too old. I don't know, it's a bit ambiguous. He looks definitely younger, but you know, it's definitely part of the royal family. The rest of the stuff just completely solidifies my theory. Everyone's been saying it too, that Liz is doing something. Everyone else is becoming more favorable towards Liz out of thin air. Clearly there's some magic going on behind the scenes, but Mr. Blondie and the green hair guy, they're unaffected by it. After two years, Alicia is finally stepping out of the hyperbolic time chamber. He's been grinding. I wonder if she surpassed level 90 or maybe she just got to 90. But even then, right, it's all about like the confidence to, you know, go against Liz because no matter what we do, we can never catch up. There's also the imagery of the Black Rose that we saw in the first episode too. Wonder when the Black Rose is gonna bloom. And another crazy tinfoil theory is, what if she's supposed to be the Golden Rose and Liz is actually fraudulent? No, nah, I don't, I, th I think at least she's supposed to represent the Black Rose. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.